Hi everyone, it is 11.33 a.m. on the East Coast. It is October 10, 2018, and Hurricane Michael has finally formed into something similar to a natural hurricane, though I'd like you to check out the eye, which begins to, well, resemble a square. Think of scalar squares, scalar weapons. And also, I want you to pay attention to this straight-lined uh, outer band of precipitation of this hurricane, which tells you very clearly this is man-made, man-made, all of the frequencies you can see in the precipitation on radar going through Hurricane Michael. That's the weirdest eye I have ever seen. Wow, now that's pretty much a square several times over in one loop. Manufactured, obvious, So, that eye developed at around uh, 12.30 a.m., which I did take um, a capture of, and, well, this is 26 minutes because I captured all of the radar and the satellites and Ah, they were developing the eye at just around 12.30. Now, the other captures that I took in this video were of an awful lot of frequencies going through every storm, this straight-lined storm that was really... Um, Ow, oh, over a thousand miles. Unbelievable. And I captured the harp necks, rad rings, and the extremely low frequencies shooting off. In every, I'm not kidding, in virtually every single um, area. Well, in every area. Harp necks, rad ring. And uh, this snowstorm that you were getting was pretty intense. Let me see if I can get to it. Here you had the small um, harp neck thread rings. They were shooting off in Iowa, also in Oklahoma and Texas. Oh, they're at it, boy. They are out it at it bad, the, these weather wars uh, are ramping up. But woof, did you see that little scalar square develop right there, right here? All right, that is not how Mother Nature works. <laughs> She's not sitting up there making snow, and decides, I'm going to cookie cut a square of precipitation in that snow just for a few minutes and then bring it back to snow. Wow, okay. Well, no matter how obvious it gets, we still can't get through. Um... Thunder Bay, extremely low frequencies. Marquette, extremely low frequencies. Marquette, man, you've got those frequencies being shut off all the time. But none of the precipitation, none of what you are seeing on rad uh, radar now reflects anything similar to natural weather. It's all artificially produced by man. And 
that whatever was happening uh, in uh, the frequencies were so intense. In um, North Dakota, Wyoming, incredible. Right angled. No, sorry. Harp, next red ring. Sorry, Bismarck. Um, the frequencies were shooting off pretty wildly last night. Texas, God, how do you guys feel down in Texas? Because you are a mess of electromagnetic energy ripping through you. The whole thing. All of these storms manufactured by man. Harp, next red ring. Square in uh, south of North Platte. It was truly amazing. Extremely low frequencies. Idaho. Extremely low frequencies. Utah. Are you getting the remnants of your Rosa storm now? Is that what they're going to tell us? Because it looked like you had pretty intense storms in Utah. You got the harp next red ring. Uh, they were all over. Well, I shouldn't say all over. Um, strategically, strategically used as weapons. Here we have a huge concentric harp next red ring, which means that they're shooting off these frequencies into the ionosphere, heating up. Uh, the ionosphere bounces back down to Earth. They use the electromagnetic weapons to then um, cause destruction. Destruction by weather. Another huge next right heart ring, Houston. Well, um, our In Truth by Grace was on it. And sometimes I feel like, God, in truth by grace, you're up at the same hour taking the same captures as I am. But she has two videos here, one posted 10 hours ago, another seven hours ago, Hurricane Michael and America Wake Up. This is not normal. Not normal, indeed. And in truth by grace, she goes through um, the the way in which our National Hurricane Center, or NOAA, actually tests wind speeds. They use measurements, or the, the, the data, data that comes from buoys. And that's what In Truth Grace does. So she shows that what our National Hurricane Center is telling us, and our mainstream media is telling us, well, it conflicts with the official data used to determine whether or not there's a tropical storm or a hurricane. And I will link below um, to In Truth by Grace's channel. Mike Morales is on it. Thank you guys, because you know what? Very few are on it, showing that we are in a weather war and they are using the technology to create weather and it is affecting an awful lot of people in real time because their homes get flooded or their roofs blow off but it affects us all because these lies of mainstream media hellstorm 150 miles per hour, strengthens further, bullseye, Panama City, storm of a lifetime, landfall now, cone, radar, satellite, National Hurricane Center, the latest update, Weather Channel live, on the ground live, map, storm, storms chasers, broadcasting live. 
Too late to run. Too late to run. Too bad. And the last video that I posted? Your government officials were warning you, if you don't leave now, your call for help won't be answered. Isn't this fabulous? What we are living. So, they're claiming, oh my God, the, you know, I, I go through and I look at this and 140 mile per hour winds, life-threatening, catastrophic, lashing Florida, monster, unlike any other monster storm. Category 4, Category 4, Category 4, life-threatening conditions imminent. And uh, strongest storm ever to hit Florida. Wow. Well, soon enough, I, I, I would guess it's going to be later on this afternoon. You will see on Google right up front, donate, donate. Do you know that the amount of money that they make with these hurricanes when they have headlines like this? Well, when people are not digging into the details to find out exactly what happened, they just assume 150 mile per hour winds now, they just assume that there are so many people suffering and they start donating and they collect millions and millions and millions of dollars. Lies. Well, you can really, you know, become successful if you can, if you can lie. And if you can't, you're screwed. You're screwed. 150 mile per hour winds. Well, let's just look at the Simpson scale, the uh, Safford Simpson scale for hurricanes, right? So the wind speed for a category one, 74 to 95 miles per hour, and a category four is 130 to 156 miles per hour. Now, a hurricane grace, uh, hurricane grace, my God, in truth by grace, shows us that the wind speeds from the buoys do not, they are not what mainstream media is reporting. Uh, you go to any site and you will see that, okay, I finally came to Venti Sky and I was able to register Hurricane Category 1, 74 miles per hour. Finally, oh, we have a 90 and 95, a 97, 98, 96. So that would put us into category two. And as you, if you've been following, you know, my videos or anybody else's, Mike Morales's or In Truth by Grace, you know that this is manufactured by men. All right. Um, so what is, what are the wind speeds that, um, in telecast is registering, registering, you know what I mean. Apalachicola, 40 miles per hour. Port St. Joe, 40 miles per hour. Apalachicola, 140, uh, 40 miles per hour. You can't go out into the coast very far to get the wind speeds on in telecast. But we have Port St. Joe again. Um, Overstreet, 40 miles per hour. 
Now those are strong wind speeds, but they're not 140 miles per hour. Panama City, 35 miles per hour. Thirty-three, Panama City too. Um, Mexico Beach, Florida, thirty-five miles per hour. It's unfortunate that we have now a uh, <laughs> what? What do you call this? What? What do you? How could you possibly? Uh, describe the American people. And for the majority, immoral. Sorry, but something is very wrong with meteorologists who lie all the time. Mainstream media lies all the time. Uh, government officials lie all the time, claiming something is what it's not. You can see all of the microwaves going through this storm and the extremely low frequencies. Um, but this thing, the tail, right here, that's enough. That is enough. This is enough right here to tell you this is not Mother Nature. Not Mother Nature. So, will the damage be uh, correlating with the Category 4? It could. Look, we're living a whole new time in, an, uh, in a whole new era where because they are using this technology as a weapon of war, weather being used as a weapon. We have no idea what will actually occur. We used to be able to predict when it was Mother Nature. So just because it's not what mainstream media is saying it is, it is not a Category 4 a Category 1 can do an awful lot of damage. But they could also bring about the damage and then just say it was a Category 4 and Americans will believe it. But even if just one person got affected by this, that's enough. I, I don't, you know, a lot of people go, oh, well, it wasn't that bad. Only 5,000 people were affected. You didn't see 50,000 people affected. You know, th this kind of mentality, it, it's so warped. You know, one, it all, for me, all it takes is one person to have to suffer the, the consequences. And we will have people suffering the consequences for what you are looking at right now. So in real time, right now, people are suffering the consequences of this war. And the war has really escalated. And six years ago, there were so many channels and so many people on it all the time, focused on all of the tornadoes that were being created, taking out towns, killing people, destroying so much. And now I see very little attention. And yet more and more people now are suffering the consequences. And maybe the attention wanes you know, when, okay, oh, um, well, this has been going on for a while, so I'm bored, and I'm just going to move on, and I'm going to join in with the drama, you know, with the, uh, I don't know, Kavanaugh, or the drama of politics, um, still quite in the matrix, because it's far more entertaining than your videos, Carol. Um, uh, you know, There is one thing that I have learned. <clears throat> Very few Americans can actually change their own self to try to behave in ways that make a difference.
And that really pisses me off because there are so many people in need now. Oh my god. Well, um, I just want to very quickly go over um, for those who leave the comments underneath every friggin' video I post. You're crazy. You're a nut job. Man can't control the weather. Or then there are people who claim, well, they cloud seed and they can cr create rain, but they can't do what you say. Weather modification by artificial satellite. Uh, <laughs> they can influence the jet stream. They can steer the jet stream. They can modify the jet stream path and therefore modify weather. They can increase humidity. They can cause precipitation. Uh, they can cause rapid heating of the atmosphere, cosmic particle ignition of artificially ionized plasma patterns in the atmosphere, weather control applications, and what are they? Localized heating, steering winds, influence the charge distribution in mesocyclones. What are we looking at? Cyclones. They can create lightning. Uh, Hurricane and tornado control device affect formation and direction of weather system by projecting sound waves toward periphery of weather system and sound waves can cause it to rain. Okay, the periphery, that's what I've been saying for a long time. Check out the periphery of your storms and you will see an awful lot of, well, electromagnetic energy the very straight lines, the uh, what looks like it's just been, it's a lighter shade and you get an awful lot of little, 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 tiny, tiny holes. It looks like it's being tattered. Like, and then somebody will come along and say, it's the wind. It's the wind making that tattered look, really. Ultra-cold substances released at low altitudes in area of tornadic activity. Well, it's a method for interrupting tornadoes. But they never interrupt the tornadoes. There are methods to destroy hurricanes. Ah, but they let, they create these hurricanes and bring them right on to coastal areas. Manipulation of the jet stream for, uh, alleviation of drought and floods, or to cause drought and floods. Atmospheric heating as a research tool, microwave heating technologies provide methods for rapidly heating well-defined regions of a weather system. <clears throat> you know, we have these cell towers all over the place, loaded with instruments, and people just believe, well, they put more instruments on it and put more cell phone towers around our areas to give us better reception. Oh, really? Because they care so much about you and your use of the phone. Uh, you know, so atmospheric heating as a research tool, they can prevent se severe storms or produce tornadoes. They can heat the rain with microwaves interact, the plasma zones may interact with electrical phenomena. Oh God. Generating beams of microwave radiation, weather modification of tornadoes and of the jet stream. Uh, near surface intensification of tornado vorte um, vortices, tornadoes may be intensified. High power, extremely low frequency radiation generated by modulated high frequency heating of the ionosphere can cause earthquakes, cyclones, localized heating. Okay, high power, extremely low radiation generated by modulated high frequency heating of the ionosphere. Radar stations, Doppler radar, high frequency heating of the ionosphere. Gwen Towers, extremely low frequency transmitter sites, the high power, extremely low frequency radiation. 
generation. So, we're going to see damage. And you know what? People here in South Carolina, they're already talking. What the hell is going on? We have to live through another another one. And they're less scared. They were really scared with Florence, all of the hype. I live in Anderson. And people, well, I lost power, and I lost the work that I was working on when I lost power three times yesterday. Uh, not for long. It was long enough for me to lose all the work that I was doing, but three times I lost power in one day, just for a couple of seconds, and three times I've lost power for extended periods of time in one year. So every time that we get these, oh, Category 4, and uh, it's coming into South Carolina, and people start talking about, okay, power outages. Are we going to be seeing them? I'm tired of living this. I am so tired of living this. And I bet all of you who live in the coastal areas, my God. Well, one tactic of your narcissist wear you down so you can't ever be a force to reckon with. And now there's an awful lot of people who are worn down. <laughs>